So a recent post by the Polish Eurogamer site points out what could be a very worrying situation for PCF. It suggests the words coming from PCF, uh, the PCF CEO, which indicates no profits have yet been seen on Outriders, nor do they know just how many copies of the game sold. Today guys, we get into it all. How's it going people? My name is DPJ and if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So to me, this news came from Eurogamer, but there's also a statement from PCF, which is basically Eurogamer's source. And this suggests PCF don't actually know how many copies of Outriders have sold nor have they received any royalties from sales. Now this information like I said originally in Polish but on the translation it uncovers a weird fishy situation between Square Enix and PCF. Now you guys can make of this what you want but I certainly don't feel this is normal between two companies working together on a game. Now sources of information you'll find linked below if you do want to check them out yourself. But the sources do state, people can fly speak of an agreement between them and Square Enix, which means they are, as in PCF, would receive royalties from the game's first quarter sales by August 16th, 2021, but no funds have been transferred. PCF states this can suggest, according to the publisher, that the revenue from sales of Outriders are lower than the cost of production on the game, which does include distribution and promotion. They also state that they basically don't know exactly how many copies of the game have sold. As the CEO from People Can Fly says, we don't have any sales figures for Outriders. We estimate it at between 2 and 3 million units and assume that this was a result that would ensure profitability for this project in the first quarter of sales. The lack of payment by the publisher probably means that according to Square Enix, this is not the case. He also states that this could be caused by the publisher, basically Square Enix, including distribution partners like Xbox as we know the games on Game Pass. The CEO of PCF goes on to state that the sales tail uh, of the Outriders game is ahead of us. As a result, the company expects royalties to begin later this year. Furthermore, he says working with the publisher has many advantages, but also its disadvantages. One of them is the low impact of sales activities and the incompleteness or, as in this case, the lack of data obtained from the publisher in this regard. This is one of the reasons why, apart from working with publishers, we have decided to develop projects whose IP will remain the property of the company and which will be published by the company itself. Okay guys, so me reading through this, I mean, I have no idea of the contract between the two, but PCF is more or less a AAA developer, working under Square Enix here on Outriders. Outriders was made out to be a success story not long after release, with them releasing the numbers of players etc etc. So this all does seem a little strange to me, I won't lie. I just don't think it's normal for publishers to hide the fact or be reluctant to release this kind of information to developers. But when royalties come into the situation, which are based off numbers, it seems here, something else isn't being told. What I will state is based in the number of game owners with the player count released doesn't necessarily mean they all purchased the game. With this game being available on Game Pass and us not knowing how many people got it there, it could indeed be the case that Outriders hasn't indeed made any profit yet. A weird one I know, but it's definitely possible. It is a bit of a weird situation to be in in my opinion, especially for people can fly. If it wasn't, I'd see no reason for them to make a statement about it. But yeah guys, this is kinda strange and I honestly don't know what it means for the future of the game. We know people can fly are working on other games, where that puts Outriders within its already seemingly limited team, I have no idea. But let me know your thoughts on this guys, all sources of information you'll find linked below. And on that note, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.